today's video we're going to be taking a look at the free energy case fan. This is designed that when you hold a magnet near it, the fan will spin producing electricity. Just holding the magnet there allows the full rotation by opposing magnetic fields. All of these are faced the same way, all facing north or all of them facing south. And when you bring in a magnet like this within close proximity to the fan, what will happen, the similar pole will oppose the fan causing it to spin. Now I placed another video online a while back which did extremely well. It's received hundreds of thousands of views and in that video I showed how it does not work and some of my viewers said, oh well you're not using magnets that are thin enough. So what I did is I picked up some very thin neodymium magnets. Let me move this to the side. Right here you can see how thin the magnet is in the caliper. All right, might be hard to see, maybe read that. Right there, hopefully. And it's right around 0.85 millimeters thick. So it's pretty thin, you're not gonna get much thinner than this, and it's an N48. So this should put an end to anybody saying that the magnets I used in my previous video were too thick. The case fan, I found this at the dump again basic case fan. As you can see, nothing hidden on the edges. All right. All the way around. This fan was damaged, unfortunately, when I was getting it out of the computer. And that's the fan right there. 12 volt fan. Seven blades, just like the one in the previous video. So what I wanted to do is see if this would work using the thinner magnets as my viewers suggested that I should do. Now my viewers also said the fan wasn't free spinning because it was locking in and locking in, but that's the way these fans are. They spin very freely, but there is a little bit of cogging. It's extremely slight, nothing that would hold this back from spinning, and the other uploader showed the exact same thing. So what I'm going to do is bring the magnet close and see if it comes on. Wow! Look at that thing go. Incredible. The viewers were correct. I should have used the thinner magnets. Look at this. It's incredible. Hold it at the right angle and it goes right on. Now what's good about this, just like the other video, is I could take the output from the fan when I turn it on and I could use it to light an LED. Now what I also want to show you is if I take the two wires from the fan Touch them together. All right, you notice the fan doesn't come on. There's nothing hidden in there. Fan stays off. What I'm going to do now is as the magnet spins the fan into motion, it will also produce a voltage off of these wires. So what I'm going to do is light up a yellow LED just to show you how this works. I'm going to take this wire here. All right, connect that there. I'm going to take the LED, connect it to the other end, which is right over here. Okay. Push that there. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I got the wire all connected up right here. I'm going to hold the LED. Right, see? See right now, there's nothing going on. All right, the LED is touching. No light. What I'm going to do now is get the fan spinning and then touch it, and it should be producing a voltage. So here we go. Let me go in at an angle. All right, let's touch it. Look at that. Blinking just like the other guys, the same way. And then that's it. So you see it produces a voltage as it's spinning. You see the magnet actually gets the fan to spin. So I guess all these people in my previous video that said I did it wrong, they must be correct. Well, I got news for you. They're not correct. I'm going to show you exactly how I did this so this scam comes to an end once and for all. All right. Makes no difference that the magnets are thinner. As I stated in my previous video, makes zero difference. What I did, this is the case fan, all right. Over here, just that little chunk that was missing. 
and 12 volts. That's all the same. Spins perfectly fine. The only way you're going to get this to work, and after observing the other person's video that they uploaded, actually they uploaded a few different ones, I learned exactly how they did it. Now let me show you. There's two ways that this is done. Let me go to the schematic here. Now this is method one, which I just demonstrated for you. This is the way mine is set up. What I did, I didn't have a case fan with a lower voltage than 12 volts. So rather than rewind the windings inside the case fan, what I decided to do is just scrap the internal guts and put in my own little motor, which I pulled out of a DVD player. Over here is the fan motor. You have the negative from the fan motor, and that goes to the negative of the three button cells. From that negative, that goes out to the negative here, where the LED would connect to. The positive from the fan goes to a very small read switch. Now the read switch looks like this right here. As you saw, that reed switch is extremely small, looks like a large grain of rice, and it's very easy to conceal. The three button cells, you could look at this image here, and that's exactly how I did that. You'll see the motor has been replaced, and you can see the three button cells alongside of the motor. This way you cannot see them, they are well concealed. Once that read switch is connected to the positive, that goes to the positive of the internal hidden battery. The junction after the read switch from the battery that connects to the fan, that also goes down to where your LED would connect. So what happens as the magnet is brought close to the fan, you're thinking that the magnet is repelling the other magnets and that is not the case. What is happening as the magnet is brought close, it's triggering the read switch, which is actually all right, you see how thin this is? It's so thin, you wouldn't even know there's anything hidden in here. But right over here, inside here, is a read switch. Now, it doesn't have to be hidden there. The other guy actually hid his in here. And they're very small, like you saw in the image. So it's very easy to hide them. And when, this, when money's involved, people do a lot of things to make money. So they'll deceive whoever they want in order to do it. And they'll spend as much time as they have to in order to make that video as convincing as possible. So his was hidden in this corner. And you'll also notice that the video that was produced, you'll notice that every single time the magnet was brought in, it was always to the same spot. Even if he moved it around, it was always in that spot. He never varied spots. Now it's possible, if he wants to fool you, he could instead of having it just in that one spot, you could put three or four read switches in parallel so wherever you go it will turn the fan on. So don't be fooled if you see him moving it around. But the other video that you saw, which is a very popular one, it's definitely a scam. You can see it's always going to the one spot. And you're also going to notice, which I noticed right away, you see how shiny my magnets are? This right here is a nickel finish. That's the most common. They also have a black nickel finish, which appears gray, like a dark charcoal gray. And then they have black magnets. When you look at his in comparison, see the magnet pulling it, all right? When you look at his in comparison to the base of the LED bulb, the LED light bulb that he's using, you're going to see the LED light bulb is very shiny, the way the magnet should be. And when you look at the magnets on his fan, they're very dull. It's almost like a a very light gray ceramic material. It's definitely not a magnet because he never shows you demonstrating with the magnet on that fan. He only brings the magnet close and of course if it's a real magnet, when the magnet comes in it's going to slowly move the fan as it gets closer and closer and then it should speed up if it was working. But when you bring the magnet here and nothing happens and it gets to there and the fan instantly spins on, you know that's triggered by a read switch. I mean, you don't have to be a genius to figure that one out. But if you ever watch that video again, you're going to notice the magnets appear to be ceramic. There's prob they're probably just ceramic discs glued to the fan blades. This way the magnet doesn't interfere. Now you notice that this will interfere if I put it in the wrong spot. But if I put it here, the fan comes on. All right? 
What he did is he didn't use magnets because if he's going to trigger it from over here, all right, you see it doesn't do, see it does nothing. See, it does absolutely nothing. His was over here. So that tells me his magnets were not magnets. They were made to look like magnets. So this was able to be brought close without having the magnet on the fan interact with the magnet in your hand, causing the fan not to spin when the reed switch closes. Mine are real magnets, and that's why my reed switch is out further, to avoid having the problem of the magnets from the fan stopping the blade from turning. So it's definitely a scam, and I'm, I'm tired of people being fooled by it and believing there's so many videos on YouTube that are scams. And like I said, as long as there's money to be made, people are going to do anything and everything to get a video out there that's going to make a lot of views. The problem you have with videos like this that are uploaded by other people claiming that they work when they're just hoax videos is that there are things out there that do have promise. But when you start putting out videos like this, it ruins everything because people aren't going to believe anything. If there are things out there that have potential to work and people are trying to suppress them, what they're also going to do is they're going to make fake videos just like this. This way they could turn around later and have people fooled and say, ah, you see, you believed in that free energy stuff. It's all nonsense. So this is very damaging when videos like this are uploaded. And you can see it's extremely easy to hide it. Now the other way it could be done if you're not going to do it this way, that when the switch closes, it allows power to the fan and the LED to light, which is the way mine is set up. The other way that he showed, and notice he didn't show both in the same video. If he did, it's because he switched the fans in the video. If you notice in both videos, one video shows the fan. He doesn't put a battery across here to show you the fan spinning. He only spins it with the magnet and then he shows you the LED lighting. All right, That is what mine is. In another video, he shows you this setup. You get a 9 volt battery, they touch it across here, and the fan starts spinning, and then he uses a magnet in close proximity to the fan, like that, and it comes on, and he shows you, see, it works with the magnet, and it works with the battery. And that's very easy to do, because what you have is you have these two wires in parallel with the reed switch. So now the reed switch will turn it on or a battery. And you're going to say, but wait a second, if you add 9 volts here, it's going to combine with the battery here. But once again, when there's money to be made, people will go to extreme measures. Here we have a battery. It's a 9 volt rechargeable nickel metal hydride. And what they would do is they would connect it across this battery to show you the fan is spinning. The way this is done, you ready for this? This will pop off, and you just solder a jumper wire across the terminals, and you put that back in. And now all this is is just completing the circuit. When he touches it to the fan like this, you'll see the fan start spinning, and you're going to say, wow, it does work with the battery, and it does work with the magnet. But you're not there to verify all this stuff, so you can't believe what you're seeing unless you're actually there. Now, it doesn't have to be a battery like this. I've also done this with door cells. You could peel off the foil, pop the bottom out, pull out the six quadruple A batteries, and then you could short the two terminals, and you could put sand in there, wherever you want to put, and you could put the bottom back on, and you could fool them with the door cell as well. So hopefully you learned that what you see here, if you look at them online, all right, that is a fraud, yes. It's not going to spin normally like that. Hold the magnet at the right angle, and look at that has nothing to do with it, the angle of the magnets, it spins freely, it's a fake. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate it a thumbs up, post links, and subscribe. Also be sure to check out my other videos as well. Thank you very much for watching.